All right, so before we get started in this video, I just want to say check the description box below and uh, come join my Discord. We can chat. Let's have fun. We can just talk. It's whatever. It's for my followers and subscribers. So link in the link in the description for my Discord. Go check that out. So run my intro. Yeah, I'm on a run. Here I come. I was just on the track. If I've come, I get a squeeze on the mob. I'm on a run, bitch. I just took off on the cops. What's going on, YouTube? It's Jan24, and we playing Getting Over It. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This is my third time playing this thing. I was trying to record it, and I had so many technical difficulties, man, but I got it now. I got it. I got it. So, we gonna do this. We gonna do this. It's, I, I know it's gonna piss me off. I know it's gonna get me tight, but we, we gonna do it. We gonna do it. Oh. Let's go. Now I get real annoyed when this dude start talking. The way he talk is so annoying. Let's go. Oh snap! I forgot it's no mouse. All right. I'm, all right. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta move all the stuff out of my way. All this stuff from last night's stream. When I post it up, it ain't even gonna be from last night. Ugh. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. Chill, bro. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute, if you won some uh, money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black, if you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it, if you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view, starting over is harder than starting up. If go. you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be no! too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. Alright. Had to move my mic a little bit out, out my right. way. Thanks for coming with me on this oh. trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry, I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. Oh! This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002 titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B games. And B games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely. And they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly uh, games I don't of its like time. This guy just talks In so it, your task much. is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. I've heard him no say this stuff like three times, Some man. Some are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly in danger oh! of falling and losing everything. I don't have the rhythm. Okay. Here we go. Wait. Here we go. Got the rhythm. I got the rhythm. Anyway, when no! you start sexy hiking, mm. you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. And in that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Stop talking, please stop talking. Come on, reach. There we go. This game is stressful. 
He doesn't jump high enough. He, oh, wow. It's gonna take me forever to get to where I was at, man. Come on. Be careful on how you move your hammer. You just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration. A okay, real punch on. in the All gut. Right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Up and at him. 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 Up and... Oof. Sorry about that. Up and at him. Up, up, see Daisy. I said, up, see Daisy. Come on, and jump, and go. No! Oh, no. Man, talking about some, oh, no. Yes. <clears throat> slow it down. Slow it down. Take your time. Take your time. I keep the obstacles clicking. and sexy hiking are unyielding. And that makes the game uniquely frustrating. Give it a second. Give it a second. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing. And it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would Let's usually go. turn out to be unreasonably hard. I'm gonna let him talk. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. We gonna let him talk. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Basically, this spot right here. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. Is where I have the most and that can trouble. that's like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. No, that's not what I tried to do. I don't, this one part is just so difficult. Ah! I'm getting real frustrated already. I keep pushing myself away. I'm not pushing away. Just take your time. Something's in my eye. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on, and and. Up and 
jump. Oh my goodness, no. Y'all see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to push myself up. Like, uh. Alright, so look. What I'm trying to do is this. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to push myself up. And then when I push myself up, I got to. When I push myself up, I got to hook on to that light and then push myself up, hook on to that light. Ooh. Why did I decide to play this game? It's just taking your time. Yes, this one is really hard. This one is really hard. You've done this part before. You know it's possible. Just do what you did the first time. Start with me. Okay. No. Oh. 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 like this so you're up here you gotta you gotta oh. <clears throat> Whoo. don't let yourself fall mm. This is all about Im impulse control. You gotta know when to stop moving your hammer. Know when to move your hammer. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. How long have I been recording? 13 minutes. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, the hard part, the hard part, and <sighs> this part is hard, no, no, uh. come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, man, I said... I keep swinging it around too high. Uh, and jump. Grab onto that. Grab onto that. Uh. No, I had it! And of course, it makes me push away. I'm not trying to push away. Oh. <sighs> mm. Come on, man. 
This game is frustrating, man. Cause it's like I'm getting tight because I don't it's like it feels like I don't have that much space to move my mouse. Come on. Let's just I was gonna say let's just wait here. Oh Let's go. Slow it down. Relax. Relax. We made it up here. Don't you dare fall. Mm. For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made oh. out of prefabricated objects. Oh, bought in the store finally. and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened. Because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context. And once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. All right, he's done. I needed to just stop and take a break before I do this part. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I had to roll up my sleeves for this. Hold on, 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 hold on. Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium, the lingua franca of the digital age. You can build culture out of trash, but only trash culture. B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. Like I be trying to. I, I, I. Take it step by step. Take your time. Take it step by step. Just take your time. Take your time, bro. Alright, so let's try to sit right here. Let's try to sit right here. I'm getting really anxious with this game. Like, uh. Here and reach. Come on. Maybe this is what digital culture is. A monstrous mountain of trash, the ash heap of creativity's fountain. A landfill with everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. Don't, you better not fall. Okay. My bad. Let's go. Let's get back into it. There's 3D models of breakfast, Gen X's fanfic novels, Scan magazines, green screen Shia LaBeouf, banned stuff scenes on Lively. It's the fun. Facebook's got oh! live bots with this unbranded is the I've ever been. shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed GIFs, Russian dash cam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, unrecycled, muddled, Ooh! rotten, untitled. This is the farthest I've ever been! Everything's fresh for about six seconds until some newer thing beckons and we hit refresh and there's years of persevering disappearing into the pile out of style Jeez, out of sight. Man. Oh no 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 It's the farthest I have ever been I'm telling y'all if I fall all the way down I'm done like all the way down And up and up and up and up and up. Whoop. 
Like, honestly, like, if I'm being completely honest, okay, I'm not supposed to go that way. I'm, I'm supposed to, now I'm supposed to go right, because... Okay. In this context, it's tempting to make friendly content the that's gentle, though, that lets you churn through it, but go. not earn it. Why make something demanding if it just gets piled up in the landfill, filed in with the bland things? I don't know which way to go. I don't know if I'm supposed to go down or up. Let me see. What if I just push myself? Really? Oh, it happened again. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. We're back. Because honestly, from there, I don't know which way to go. Oh, okay. Good thing. Okay. It's a drop right there. It's a drop right there. Ooh. This thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Mary Pickford.